everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video and today I'm going to repaint one of my favorite kinds of dolls ever and this is such a big 43 cm or 17 inches monster high doll and really I'm repainting small monster high dolls, Barbies, doll heads, all kinds of dolls but these ones look just the best after my repaint. I don't know, maybe my more realistic style of drawing girls' faces work a little bit better with such big monster high dolls uh, because they're more poseable and even the body proportions look in some way a little bit more balanced. I don't know why, maybe I'm mistaken, but <laughs> it makes such an impression. And uh, yeah, unfortunately here in Belgium, I told it already a couple of times, it's quite difficult to find such a big monster high doll, so that's why I just made the third such doll on my channel. But now I had really big luck and I bought four big 17 inch monster high dolls, so for the next couple of months we have dolls enough. And I'm going to start with such a big Frankenstein doll. Why with Frankie? I don't know, just because I think she's so cute that she's going to look just amazing after my makeover. So let's open the box, let's remove her old clothes and hair. And by the way, I'm even curious because with the first doll I had absolutely no problem with removing her old hair. And with the second doll, I had like serious issues, really. I needed just to shave it very short and put the wig on top because I couldn't pull the old hair from the inside of the body. So, let's go! So let's first quickly prepare this doll for customizing and for this I'm first removing her clothes and cutting her hair as short as I can. take her head off, I use a hair dryer. This doll's head is much harder and the rubber is thicker than from the regular size dolls, so I need to blow around 5 minutes to make the head soft and to be able to take it off. Then I'm removing her makeup with pure acetone and after this I spray her face with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and I let each layer dry for 40 minutes. And while the head is drying, let's prepare the body. First I cut the pin in her neck and then I sand it with the nail buffers. The buffers are soft and they can remove the glossy top without making any damage to the surface of the body. Then I clean the body with an acetone free nail polish remover and then I also seal it with three layers of Mr. Super Clear. Now I need to turn her green body into some more natural looking one. And for this I will use a color wheel like I always do for such a radical skin color transformations. So here is our green color. And to neutralize it I need to use the opposite one. And the opposite one for green is red of course. So let's do some magic in one step. Don't worry that her face looks too red right now, it happens because the green and the red colors are not really mixing at the moment. The red is just laying on top of the green, but after I seal the face, the red powder will set and it will become more transparent and then we will see the result of this color reaction. And this is how it all looks after sealing. Now I still want to apply a layer of very light and soft pink pastels on top of it. I think her basic skin color looks really good right now, so let's sketch her eyes and eyebrows before I start contouring. 
And there is something that I wanted to discuss with you guys, because I really love when you are helping me making decisions. Look, I really want to organize some live streaming on my channel, to be able to communicate online, to make it all more personal, but I don't really know how to do it. Because the first thought that, that I get is to work on dolls online, of course, and meanwhile chatting to you. But the problem is that I draw mainly in short sessions of like 10, 15, 20 minutes, and then I wait for an hour till the sealant is dry, and then I'm also pretty concentrated while working to be able to read lots of your messages, if there will be any messages, of course. And another option is just sitting, chatting, answering questions, but I don't know if such a format is interesting for you. So please let me know what are your thoughts about it, what kind of live streams are the most interesting for you, and what are you expecting from me most. So let's think together and find the best way of our live communication. And I almost forgot about her body, let's blush it as well. Look how cool they look together, how you can see the difference now. Now I'm going to contour her face and this time I'm going to make a very sweet look and more pinkish colors. So no harsh contouring this time, but I still need to draw of course the main shadows, otherwise her face will look flat and completely not realistic. With a very fine brush, I define the eye creases using dark brown pastels.
Now her skin tone looks very good, so I can take my pencils and start working on her eyes. I want to give her very blue eyes, really like huge super blue eyes. And you know, I've got an idea right now. It's strange that I've never thought about it before, oh my god. Look, all doll artists use watercolor pencils because they are water based. And regular pencils contain oil and wax that will make your doll faces yellow after a while. And all the doll artists are always using their pencils dry, and me as well again. But why are we doing it? The pigments of professional quality watercolor pencils become hundreds times more bright than when you are using them dry. Why we cannot use them wet on dolls as well? Have I really just found a new way of working on dolls? I probably have just invented the wheel of course right now. But I have never seen no one using wet pencils on dolls. Let's try it! I hope you can see it on camera, but all the colors are becoming much more intense. On eyebrows it works really good, like this I can make really very realistic tiny hairs. Her lips I'm applying pink pastels. I want to keep her lips very sweet and soft looking and then I also use the same pink pastels for her eyeshadows. I still add blush to her cheek. I work more detailed on her eyes and then I again activate the pencils with water.
Then I make the both lash lines a bit darker with brown pastels. And then I draw the highlights with a pencil and I blend them with Q-tips. Then I add accents and creases to her lips. And then I'm again activating the pencils with water. And every time after using water, I first let it dry completely. Normally it doesn't take long, maximum 10 minutes, because I'm using literally one drop of water to draw on such a tiny surface. And then I seal the face with the sealant and like this I'm protecting the layers and colors are not mixing even when I add water. Then with a very sharp black pencil I draw the bottom eyelashes, the reflection of the lashes in her eyes, add the eyeliner and then I make it extra black by adding some water. To give a special accent to her makeup, I add golden eyeshadows using acrylic paint and then I add golden glitter on top of it.
seems I forgot about her body again. Let's quickly blush it with the same colors like I used for her face. And then I need to put the head and the body back together by making the head soft again with the hair dryer. Then I'm making a wig for her. It's actually more handy to make a wig when the head is still disconnected from the body, but it's okay, we'll just need to turn her a little bit more often. And then I'm like always attaching the false lashes, adding glossy varnish to her eyes and lips, and then I'm signing my doll. Now let's make an outfit for her. Her makeup is very soft and gentle, but with a golden accent on her eyelids. So let's make exactly the same outfit, very soft and very gentle, but with some hidden sparkling details. And first I'm making a dress. Then I'm covering her shoes with a couple of layers of golden acrylic paint. golden panties. Then she can sit and pose in any possible way and still look decent in her very short dress. Result of my work today. I think your eyes look definitely more colorful and bright than usually, and they look rather painted than drawn. So I'm very happy with the result of my experiment today, and I will for sure work more in such a wet technique.
So I'm looking forward now to listen to your opinion about my Monster High doll repaint. And also please let me know if you wish which format of live streaming you would like me to organize. Let's go live, guys! And that was my video for today. Please put your likes if you enjoyed it. Check if you subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button. And we will see each other very soon. Next week Friday in my new doll repaint video. Love you guys. Bye.